Hello everyone! Happy Thursday! Welcome back! Happy Create Your Lane Fashion Happy Hour! Hi guys! Hello, hello, hello! I'm gonna give everyone a second to log on. Welcome back! Welcome to the jegging episode! Today is gonna be fantastic! I'm so excited about today's episode. We're talking all about jeggings. I'm gonna give you three awesome outfit ideas and tell you why I am completely obsessed with this style jean. So hi everyone, welcome back. My name is Megan O'Connor. I'm a celebrity fashion stylist and longtime friend of Liam Bryant's and I come to you live at five every single week, usually on Fridays, but today is a Thursday. We're shaking it up a little bit. So welcome, hello. If you're new here, we do this every single week, live at five on Fridays, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you are back again after with me, after being with me last week, welcome back, it's nice to see you. As you log on, you know I love to know where you're logging on from, so come on, join, give me a wave, give me a hello, and tell me where you're joining from, just because really I'm nosy and I like to know where everybody is. So hi friends, hello, hello, hello. Hi everybody, so happy to see you here. Okay, we're gonna jump right in because I'm very excited about today's episode and I have some important things to share with you. So first of all, I wanna let you know that as you know, you can shop in store at Lane Bryant. The store associates are there for you. They're doing a great job at creating a very safe and socially distant in-store shopping experience. So you can be sure to check out all of your local stores and shop in store as well as online. While you're in store, we are finally ready to reintroduce the Lane Stylist. That's right, my friends. If you took an, if you took advantage of the Lane Stylist previously in the past, pre-COVID world, they are back. They're taking appointments. So the greatest way for you to kind of get this sort of concept of the of the help of styling and picking out certain things, curated style is the in-store Lane Stylist experience. So be sure to check it out. They're taking appointments. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, it is safe. Masks are being worn. Socially distanced there's hand sanitizer everything's being cleaned you know the drill they have you covered but you finally have the opportunity to get back in there and have a great insert experience with those lean stylists so it's really great news very exciting and if you're not comfortable going into store don't worry because all these wonderful pieces are available online so don't worry about that my friends as you know, quick reminder, every single thing we talk about here today on this wrap will be posted with item numbers at the end of the live when we repost it to the Instagram feed. So if you're interested in shopping during the live, of course you can search, you can shop while we're doing this, but at the end, if you want to purchase any of these pieces, all you have to do is type in that item number. Super, super easy. So if you're shopping online, just go to that search bar, type in that item number, do, 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 add to cart, off you go. Um, I want to remind you that today is Thursday, so we have special promotions exclusively for today. Today only, Livy tops and bottoms, there's a combo of $49. Livy sports bras are $35, and Cacique panties are four for 25 or six for 30. So those are today's special promotions because it's Thursday. You know we usually do Fridays, but we're shaking it up today. Um, so, got all of the details out of the way. Hi everybody. Cute shirt, thank you very much. We'll be talking about it because it's on the rack. Hello. Arizona, California, South Carolina, Argentina, Georgia. Hi, everyone. Vermont, Hawaii. Aloha, Hawaii. Hi, everyone. So happy to see you all with me. I always get nervous when we shake it up and do a different day because I'm like, are they going to forget? Are they going to join me? So I'm so happy to see you all. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay, let's get into it, shall we? So again, thank you so much for joining me. Hello, everybody. My name is Megan O'Connor. If you are new here, I'm a celebrity fashion stylist and a longtime friend of Liam Bryant's. I come to you live for a fun fashion chat every single Friday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today, we're shaking it up with the Thursday episode, so welcome. I'm so happy that you're here. Um, if you've been with me all of these crazy long weeks since we've been doing this since the beginning in March, thank you for sticking with me. This has been so much fun. So, let's chat about the jeggings. I'm going to put this down and check back on you. You know the drill. Um, we go through the rack, I answer the questions, and then I hit that phone and try to see if I can answer any questions that you guys submit here during the live. I do wanna remind you, don't forget, Lane Bryan posts a photo of yours truly every single week with a prompt about the upcoming week's topic. So be sure to check out that photo. That's your opportunity to get those questions in because those questions are selected at random, as you know, from both Facebook and Instagram, and I read them on the live. If I happen to read your question, you get a $50 gift card to be put towards your purchase, which is amazing. So be sure to get those questions in. You can submit it on that photo when you see it go up. Um, both on Facebook and on Instagram. So, shall we jump in? I'm very excited about today's episode because it is my favorite type of silhouette, the jegging. I'm a skinny jean wearer, 
and love her, but I really, really love the jegging. And there's many reasons why, and I'm going to talk about them all with you today. So first of all, today we're talking about the three button high rise jegging. I'm going to show you three different styles. So you know that that is today's focus. Here's the thing. The jegging gives you two things, right? So it gives you the feel of a traditional jean with the comfort of a legging. So I'm not really sure why we don't love it. We do. We love it. We love to see it. We love the combination of denim with the comfort of a legging. And if you're still on the fence and you're not sure about it, today is going to be the episode that's going to help you get to the other side and cross over and try these jeggings because they are amazing. So of course you have all the same features that I'll show you throughout, but you're going to have your high waist, you have a three button and a zip. There are pockets in all of these. They have the Flex Magic waistband, all of the wonderful features of Liam Bryan jeans, and in multiple denim washes as well. Just right off the bat, before we head into this rack, I want to remind you that all of these jeggings come in sizes 12 through 28, and most of them have petite lengths. So we got you covered. Let's go. Let's get started. Enough of the talking, right? Just get into the rack, Megan. Okay, here we go. So first look I'm going to show you is a classic simple, easy to wear, versatile, in everybody's wardrobe, must have dark denim jegging. So really clean front, clean silhouette, dark denim, such an easy, versatile wash. I know sometimes people are not sure what wash to start with. If you're going into jeggings and you're just starting and this is kind of your first buy, I always think a dark wash is the easiest one to invest in first. You're going to get a lot of wears out of it. Really easy to wear. So Dark wash, three button jegging. Let me come close so you can see all the details before I show you the top combos. So full three buttons, zipper fly. So it is, it's closure like a regular pair of jeans. The pockets are here, my friends. Don't worry, they have you covered. So pockets in the front, pockets in the back. Here we go. So dark denim, clean front finish. So I paired this with, I wanted to bring out some color. And you know that the past couple of weeks I've been trying to cover these like fall color palettes that we're seeing a lot of. And Lee Bryan has the really, like so many different options. There's this purples and the teals. Um, and I keep coming back to them because honestly, they're just so beautiful. So I wanted to share this option. So what I did here was take a couple of pieces that can all work on their own and combine them together into this look. So first up is the Swing Tee, which is one of my favorites. And you know the drill, there's tons of different silhouettes in the tee shop and you can really find a lot of different options. I like the Swing Tee. I like to have some, some movement. I like the versatility of having it to have a little bit of length, a little bit of movement, it's not so fitted. And with the Swing Tee, you have great sleeve length here. And then it's just sort of a very easy, lightweight jersey combo. Uh, there is some spandex in here, so you do have a lot of stretch. And this comes in multiple colors, so I chose this really gorgeous sort of slate teal combo blue, which is really kind of a go-to color for fall. You're seeing a lot of this across the board. I paired it with this absolutely stunning striped front kimono. So you know the drill. If you've been with me, you know I love an easy layer, a light layering piece like a kimono. So I'm gonna come close so you can see. Look at all these absolutely gorgeous colors. So you have the purples, the magentas, the blacks, the whites, then you have the teal paired back. And then up against this teal, even though this is more of sort of a slate as opposed to this brighter color, it really works well together. So you're kind of doing this really great color block moment. You have all of these beautiful colors to pull out as well. And then what it does is it gives you the opportunity to then play with all of these colors in other items that you already own. For example, maybe this color blue is not your option and you want to do this kind of cranberry color and bring in that into your full wardrobe and your full color palette. Maybe that is your personal preference when it comes to color choice. So this kimono style really gives you that versatility to have a lot of options paired against it. So again, just wanted to show you how you can do either color paired together. So it's the kimono, the striped kimono, which you know I love a light, easy layer, so much versatility. You can literally pair it with anything a million times over. It will be worn hundreds of different ways. Paired back with the two different types of tees from the tee shop, and honestly, hit the tee shop and pick whatever you prefer. Whether you wanna have embellishments, whether you want a simple neckline, crew neck, v-neck, all the options are there for you. So you're gonna take a simple tee, you're gonna grab a light, easy layer, and then you're gonna pair it back with that perfect dark denim three button jegging. And this is look number one, a really great fall look that can work in many different climates because this is super lightweight. T-shirts are lightweight and then you have your fantastic dark denim jegging, which moves with you, keeps its shape, flex magic waistband, functioning pockets, three buttons, zip 
look at that high wood look at that wide waistband that sits high on the waist it's such a good fit so that is look number one my friends let's move on look number two shall we how are we doing out there is everyone good i see you all still with me hello okay look number two moving on i want to talk about a black jegging so of the three washes we're talking about today we already did a dark denim now we're going to move on to the black and then the last one will be the one that i have on which is a lighter wash so keeping in kind of the idea of having a, a jegging that is going to work overtime in your wardrobe that packs a lot of versatility black is a great go-to option again great option would be the dark denim another fantastic option which packs a lot of punch is this black jegging so going to come close so you can see all the same features wide waistband three buttons the zipper closure here then you have functioning pockets my friends flex magic waistband in all of them of course as always they sit high waisted they fit really great and this is a clean finish there's no distressing nothing throughout straight through there you go so this is the black three button jegging so I thought let's dress it up a little bit let's move beyond that denim look let's take it where we can wear a more work appropriate more event appropriate we're headed back into the office we're we're moving outside of those zoom calls sometimes so i wanted to give you an option where we can really kind of dress it up and elevate the jegging so that's what look number two is all about so taking this black three button jegging taking a chambray blouse which is so fantastic this is a pullover so no button front. I mean, you have buttons here, but it's not a full button. So there's a pullover chambray blouse, roll tab sleeves, really nice collarless little notch neck here. You have fun little pockets to kind of give it a casual utility vibe. So this is another piece that you can dress up or dress down. Lots of versatility here. And then I wanted to bring on a fantastic, phenomenal layer, which my friends, as you know, if you've been with me, you know, I talk about a Brian Blazer all the time because it is a fantastic piece to have in your wardrobe. There's so much versatility when it comes to the Brian Blazer. Yes, I know this is a plaid, this has a pop of color, all of those things, but the idea of having a really great um, blazer and, and kind of layer option that you can wear multiple different ways with jeans, with a dress, with suiting options, with dress pants, with a skirt, that is what the Brian Blazer does. It just is that perfect add-on polished layer that we all need in our wardrobe. It's like really easy grab and go piece. And again, you don't have to necessarily get the plaid with the yellow. You can get a solid color, but this is to show you how you can incorporate lots of different items that you maybe want to have in that curated fall wardrobe of yours and throw them all together for a fantastic look. So again, here's the chambray paired back with this fantastic, I'm so obsessed with this blazer. So fantastic black and white with the yellow detail. So fantastic. It's double breasted. You have your buttons. This is fully functioning pockets, long sleeve, button detail here. Lots of stretch in the Bryant blazer as well. So paired that item back with the chambray and then throw it on with those black gorgeous sateen three button jegging for just such a chic, easy, sophisticated, but fun and casual laid back style. I mean, this is all the adjectives in one because it really covers all bases. So that is look number two. Again, it's the signature three button jegging. That is the super stretch, the black sateen. That's the high rise. You have pockets, you have flex magic waistband. There's so much movability with these. They're really, really comfortable, super buttery soft, so easy to wear. And then that one was paired back with the chambray denim and the Brian blazer. So that was look number two. Moving on to look number three, which of course is the look that I have on because I always like to wear something that we have on the rack so you can kind of get an idea of how it looks against my shape, my size. So look number three, a little bit more casual, sort of for that on the go. Maybe you just want to have something that's just kind of like easy to wear, uh, a little bit of trend. So we have two things happening here. I incorporated trend with the tie dye. I also incorporated trends with the jegging selection. So this is a light denim, lightly destructed three button jegging. Again, signature fit, high rise, three buttons, wide waistband, flex magic waistband, zipper fly, functioning pockets, all the whole nine. And then you have, look at the distressing, so fun, so fantastic. So just so you know, I don't know how to best show you this, but just so you guys can see it, it is not lined, it's not back. This is like distressing so that you can see skin all the way through. There you go, that's an easier way to show you. So here we go, this is the light wash, three button jegging. Coming close again so you can see it. You have a little bit of whiskering here, light wash here. 
And then on the back, just a clean finish. So I thought, I just like the idea of this like lighter look. Very easy kind of on the go look, grab it with sneakers, run around. And of course these jeggings can be dressed up. You can easily pair it back with that Brian blazer or a different blouse, but I just wanted something that's a little bit more casual. And so, you know I love to do kind of a cross category look. This top is actually a Livy Active top. So I took a Livy top, paired it back with a jegging option, and then that is how we got this cute casual look that I have on today. So let me come close so you can see this Livy top. I always say this to you guys, and I wanna remind you again, just because it's Livy Active doesn't necessarily mean it has to be kept for active. You can absolutely mix and match these Livy pieces into your everyday wardrobe. I do it all the time. We talked about it last week. The week prior, using Livy tanks under suiting options with the on the go. You know, I love pairing leggings with sweaters, Livy leggings back with sweaters and like denim jacket combos, you know. So really kind of think outside the box when it comes to pairing those Livy options and taking them outside of the quote unquote active category. Lots of different ways to wear them. And as you can see, super cute. So this is the Livy active hooded long sleeve tie dye. When I tell you this is so soft it is the most comfortable thing on the i'm just so comfortable it's so buttery soft easy to wear really lightweight it's actually really quite um lightweight so it's not something where you're going to be kind of feeling overheated or just too warm this is definitely one of those transitional items that for sure get like the seal of approval by me because I don't love anything that's going to be like too warm or like make me overheated. So this is for sure a great item to have. Also great layering piece just in general. Um, so again, this is the Livy Active tie dye hooded long sleeve. This is the little hood portion tie front. No pockets on this one, just a clean finish. And then here's the back again, same tie dye all the way around. Just such a cool piece. And then of course I paired it back like I said before with the signature fit jegging the high rise in the light wash with the destructed denim so I'm just going to show you on me let me pull them up a little bit so you can see how they are uh destructed here on the knees a little bit over here uh just be careful stepping into them because I almost ripped it even more and made it even more destructed today uh and then I just paired it with you know a pair of sneakers and that's it just a really easy kind of on the go couple of trends mixed in together, but super comfortable from head to toe. Mixed category, Livy and Jegging. Look number three. How are we doing? How are we feeling? I feel like a lot of you like this tie-dye look. I feel like I see a lot of hearts over there on the side. So I'm happy that you enjoyed all three looks. Let's jump into the questions and then I will, of course, check the phone and see how you are all doing. Okay. Let me remind you, today's promotions, Thursday only promos, Livy top and bottom combo, $49, Livy sports bra, $35, and Cacique panties, four for $25 or six for $30. So if you're into this top, today's the day to get it, and get it with a pair of leggings, like any leggings you want, printed, basic, throw them in there so you have that top and bottom combo, head over there, get that sale. So again, that's a Thursday today only sale, just a quick reminder. A uh, quick reminder on sizing for the jeggings, 12 to 28, and often a lot of them do come in petite length. So be sure to check it out. Don't forget, you can shop online. We will post all of the item numbers. Very easy. You can just put in the search bar and add to cart, but you can also shop in store. Do not forget, guys, lane stylists are back. They're taking appointments. So be sure you can call and you can make an appointment with your store, with your lane stylist. They're there for you. They're waiting it's very exciting for them to be able to provide you with a safe, comfortable shopping experience and help you curate your wardrobe. Um, so a quick reminder, of course, before I jump into these questions, lane stylists are free, F-R-E-E free. So just bring yourself, wear your mask, and then you have the opportunity for that one-on-one -on -one help with the in-store shopping experience with your lane stylist. Moving on, questions. Question number one, I've been wanting to incorporate more blazers into my wardrobe. What are some other style blazers do you recommend? Okay, love this. We talked about the Brian blazer today, so you know I'm going to bring it up again. This is the blazer of all blazers. It doesn't necessarily mean you have to have this print, but a Brian blazer is a fantastic item to have in your wardrobe, especially if you're looking to incorporate the blazers. There's a lot of versatility in it. The fit is phenomenal. And then as we head into the seasons, they actually shift and kind of seasonally update the styles for the, the Bryant blazer. So you'll see the tweeds, you'll see the prints. Then as we head into kind of the, you know, November, December, you'll see some holiday options. 
So they are seasonally updated, which is fantastic because then you can really start to curate some different options for your Brian blazers as well. And then you have a true selection with a lot of versatility and a lot of options when it comes to styling. So I say Brian blazer, hands down, fantastic piece. Another way you can kind of incorporate a blazer concept is thinking, um, Moto jackets, denim jackets, those kind of light layers that we've talked about often, consider them as a blazer. Wear them as you would a blazer. So just as you would take that Brian blazer and pair it with those on-the-go pants and that Libby tank, you could do the same with other jackets. So again, it's more of, it's more of um, considering how the categories can mix together and don't necessarily take things as like as they're presented to you, right? So just because it's a denim jacket and you consider it outerwear doesn't necessarily mean you can't wear it like as a blazer option, as a light layer. So just be a little creative when it comes to there. Um, don't forget the Bryant blazer is my favorite only because it's like literally intentionally designed with certain seaming that creates beautiful shape and silhouette. There's gorgeous button detail. I mean, it's just a great wardrobe item. So if you're looking for blazers, Bryant blazer, do it. Uh, next question, two, ooh, two, it's a two for one, two questions. Number one, do the jeggings have pockets? Number two, do they come in petite length? Already answered this one. Um, okay, so yes, they have pockets, four pockets actually, two front fully functioning, two back fully functioning, um, and they come in sizes 12 to 28, and yes, they do come in petite lengths. So I'm 99% positive almost all of them come in petite lengths, but you know what? There's always a couple of exclusions when it comes to certain styles. Be sure to check. When you're shopping online, all you have to do is scroll down to the overview on the product page and it tells you all of that information, pocket detail, length detail, inseam detail, all of those things that you need. So for sure, fantastic questions because that's what we want. We want the right size, we want the right fit so that we can have the most perfect jegging. And these, I think, are them for you guys. I love them, I'm obsessed. So the answer to your two-part question, Tracy, is yes and yes. Question number three. Wearing jeggings to work can be scary for a plus size woman. How do we get away with wearing them to work and still feel confident? Is there a, a tip or trick to the shoes or tops that we can use? Okay, so first of all, there's nothing to fear when getting dressed for the office because you are phenomenal as you are. And anything you're putting on your body is going to look beautiful because when you look good, you feel good. And it is all about who you are on the inside and letting it shine out and using the clothes to elaborate that. So that is number one. Don't be fearful when you're getting dressed. Number two, jeggings are a combo, right? So it's not as thin as a legging. It gives you the comfort of a legging with the look of a jean. So you have a denim look, but you have the comfort of that stretch and that movement and that give and sort of this very easy piece of wardrobe that's on, but you don't even feel it. It's just magic. It is denim, Lane Bryant, jegging magic. So I would say the easiest thing to do here is two things. Clean finish and dark denim or black is a very easy way to kind of wear jeggings to the office, right? So I would not choose a, a jean like how I have on this jegging, the light wash with the destructive denim, obviously not office appropriate. I would do a dark denim or the black sateen finish, which is a fantastic option. Uh, second thing is, think about your dress code, right? So how can you incorporate it, sticking within your dress code, making sure you're still put together, polished, etc. So Obviously, you want to make sure you're checking the boxes for your own personal workplace. But then on top of it, think about the ways that you're going to feel comfortable so that you're not overwhelmed when you're getting dressed and wearing this new piece that maybe is a challenge for you, but you're getting out of your comfort zone. So think about pairing it with easy pieces like maybe a swing tee and the kimono. So you have some polish here, but there is some movement. It's a really easy, simple piece. Maybe this is more in your comfort zone so that you take something a little bit more comfortable and you pair it back with that new piece that you're incorporating. So that is kind of my tips and tricks. The other thing is shoes. You can just, any shoe, honestly, especially when it comes to the jegging because the silhouette is so beautiful and tapered at the ankle. You can wear any shoe from a sneaker to a boot, to a heel, to a flat. I mean, the options are endless because it really is a clean, perfect silhouette. So that is my question, my answer to that question. Um, of course, you see I also have a lot of the fall ankle booties showing here. These are all available at Lane Bryant. So be sure to check them out as well. Those all work really well when paired back with these jeggings. Next question. 
What is the best wash care to protect? Oh, I like this question. What is the best wash care to protect the integrity of the jeggings? Okay, fantastic question. A lot of times I think uh, we're often trying to figure out how we can sort of keep the life of our items longer, right? So the easiest way to do that, for me personally, I say inside out those jeans. So when you're washing the jeggings, when you're washing any denim, honestly, wash them inside out. It keeps your wash, it keeps the color, it keeps the intensity of the pigment of the color, and then also it won't like further fray certain destruction. It won't kind of pick away at certain things if you have an afraid hem or destructed front. All of those things you want to wash your denim inside out. And the other thing is garment care. Those tabs are there for a reason. Be sure to pay attention to them because for every different jean, every different garment, it's a little bit different. So I would say that that's kind of the easiest way to sort of keep your integrity. And then, you know, when you wash, some people like to dry them so you get like a snugger fit. Some people prefer air drying. So it's really personal preference mixed with like true garment care. So follow your tags. That's why they're there. Um, okay, next question. How do you do the blouse half tuck? Oh, I like that question. I talk about the half tuck often. So um, Suzette, I feel like is probably with me on these or you probably join often because I do usually reference a half tuck. So I will show you. I'll give you a little demo. Uh, let me put this down so you can see. So a half tuck is basically, honestly, I use it often because what it does is it shows your shape and kind of creates a nice silhouette without doing a full tucked in blouse. I don't like to tuck my blouses in usually, but oftentimes, you know, I don't necessarily want to have it hanging too low or just kind of hanging there. I want to create some nice shape. So for example, what you can do, my earring is stuck on my braid. Oh no. What you can do is you take one side of your blouse and you'll see these are again, just so you can see how fantastic the high rise is on these. Take one side of your blouse. You literally just do a half tuck, my friends. And it's called it because it is just a half tuck. It's really quite simple. And that's it. So really what it does is from just a shirt hanging, what it's done is kind of create the silhouette. It shows a couple of my lines here. It shows my curves on the side. And it also shows off your jeggings, right? You have really cool details and destruction here. Great color, great whiskering. You show up those three buttons. So honestly, a half tuck is a great way to both show your style that you're wearing and enjoy and kind of show off that great new piece you have and also create a really beautiful silhouette and kind of show off those fantastic curves. Okay, let me hit the phone here and see how you guys are doing. Uh, okay. Um, how is everybody here? Okay, you know, you know, if you know, you know, I do not like the dead air, but I always like to kind of come on and say hi and see what's happening here as well. So let me see how you are all doing, see if I can answer any quick questions. Um, okay. Someone asked about sizing, 12 to 28 in the jeggings and petite length, of course. Um, how do sizes compare across the brands? Um, these fit just like all the other jeans do, honestly. Uh, just so you all know, I am in the 20 today. I actually tried the 18 as well. Um, and they are a snugger fit, but they also fit. So I am I sit between like an 18 and a 20 when it comes to denim at Lean Bryant. So right now I'm in the 20. I did, I will say though, if you are similar shape or kind of sit in between those, those two sizes, the 18 fit fine. Um, and I was quite comfortable in them. It is a snugger fit on the leg. So if that's what you're looking for, which kind of usually is what I often am looking for, I just kept the 18 on the rack to show you, but just as a kind of reference for sizing so you know. Um, let's see. Lots of lovely, beautiful comments today. Thank you everybody so much. Love the tie-dye, thank you, buttery soft. Um, Love it, love it, love it. I don't know which one you love, but I'm so glad you all love it. it. Makes me so happy. Cute. Oh, somebody said the best look is the last one. I'm glad you enjoy it. Um, I'm into this one too. I just think it's really fun and easy. It's just sort of a very grab and go. Honestly, it's a very simple look, uh, but it incorporates two different fantastic things. A great, easy Libby active top paired back with a great jegging with a little bit of trend. So very simple, little distressing, not too much, but not over the top, but just enough for me. Um... Let's see. How is everybody doing? Okay, chambray top. Yes, chambray is a fantastic way to kind of have the denim on denim look as well. You can easily take that chambray top and pair it with that dark denim jegging instead of the black one if you wanted to do a full on denim look. Really fantastic. Um, let's see. 
how is everyone else doing? Uh, you guys seem to love all these looks today. I'm so happy to hear that. So I'm not going to scroll all the way up because you know I don't like to waste all of the time. And I want to just be, you know, respectful of the time that you guys are giving me today. I'm so happy that everyone is with me today. I'm so glad you joined. You know I get a little nervous when we have it on Thursdays. I just feel like I'm going to talk to myself. But I'm very happy to see you all here with me. Um, okay, okay. Libby jacket, yes. Oh, someone said I refuse to wear anything but jeggings to work. So comfortable. I, I could not agree with you more. They really are so incredibly comfortable to wear. They move with you. They just, they, it's just a great, it doesn't even feel like you have jeans on, but it gives you that great look. It gives you the look of denim with the comfort of a legging. It is the perfect combination. It is the marrying of both superpowers of the comfort of a legging and the great style and ease of dressing with the jean combined together. So that is the jegging. Um... Somebody asked for the chambray top against the pants I have on. I will hold it up very quickly so you can see. You can do a fun little denim on denim with the Bryant blazers. So cute. Very easily pair it with anything from a flat to an ankle booty to a pair of sneakers. Tons of options available on Lane Bryant as well. So be sure to check that out. Okay. I think we are nearing the end. My wonderful friends, I am so happy that you all joined me today. I cannot thank you enough. This doesn't happen if it wasn't for you. So thank you for your likes, your comments, your hearts, your hellos, all of those things. Thank you for your questions. So don't forget, every single week, Lane Bryan posts a photo of yours truly with a prompt for the topic of the upcoming week. That's your opportunity to get those questions in. So all those questions that I read at the end of the live, that is where they come from. They get selected at random. They come from both the Instagram and the Facebook page. And then if I read your question on the live, you get a $50 gift card. Who does not love some free money? So the $50 gift card can be put towards all these wonderful pieces that we talk about every single week. So be sure to get those questions in. Don't forget, I come to you live every Friday at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to give you a fun fashion chat. And I am so grateful for the opportunity to do so. So thank you all so, so much. I will see you all next week for another fantastic fashion-packed episode of Create Your Lane Fashion Happy Hour. See you next week, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until then, stay safe and be kind to one another. Bye, my friends.